What's up, guys? Hello. How's it going? Uh, we are here with Reaffirmator. Yeah, as uh, we're getting this music to bring in Reaffirmator. Uh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. That's how that's how uh, excited about the deck we are. Yeah, we're getting uh, this. This is not a song. production. It's <laughs> not a production error at all. Not at all. The producers really got it out for me. I think. <laughs> all right. So uh, this is Doctor Afra Green. Focus on the deck is reanimating Darth Vader and Maul. Uh, so, but we're going to cover the inclusions in the deck uh, just so that way my thought process makes sense. And uh, uh, I will also talk about some of the things that would improve about the deck or some things that I think are, are possible improvements on the deck. All right, so um, first off... We are playing three Palpatine's Returns, three Vaders, and three Mauls. Um, the idea uh, here, Dave, it's great seeing you. The idea here is that hopefully Dr. Afra mills either Vader or Maul with her leader ability. Her leader ability says when the regroup phase starts, discard a card from the top of your deck. So on its own, this, card, this ability does not do anything. But what we want to happen is we want um, Darth Vader or Maul to end up in our discard pile before um, we get to six resources so we can slam Palpatine's return and then use Vader or Maul to start taking over the game. They come out like basically ahead of schedule thanks to uh, if they're discarded. Now, I wonder if that will happen ever tonight. <laughs> so um, we have built in ways in case that does not happen. Okay. Now, what, uh, what, uh, what we're trying to do, so Dr. Afra on the unit side gets bonuses if you've got five or more different costs in your discard pile. So I have included uh, multiple copies of each of the casting costs from one to seven, um, and I have included some eight, and nine, and ten, just singular stuff. Um, in a couple of places as well. Uh, maybe you mill it. Maybe you just draw it and you've got eight resources and you slam down. I mean, if you mill it, you can still Palpatine's Return and pay. You can't. That's, so, that is also correct. You can Palpatine's fine. Return Devastator yeah. um, if you have ten resources. You don't get the discount, but you do get to bring it back. So, um, so yes. Now, uh, we could possibly include timely intervention in the deck. I don't have it in here right now because the deck is mostly focused on trying to hit the combo. Now, uh, let's go through uh, the, I, I think, some of the more important cards in the deck. Cards like Greedo. If Greedo dies, you get to mill a card. So Greedo gives you a chance to hit Vader or Maul. So you want to like aggressively... You're trying to get Greedo, Greedo killed. Death. You're yeah. trying to get Greedo killed. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, He's just good early. We know that. Yeah. We've play, uh, every deck that we play that has yellow in it just about it ends Greedo. up with Greedo. Yeah. Um, and here, we don't even need him necessarily to hit. We just need him to mill another card. So he himself is a one drop. And if you hit anything that isn't a one drop, then he's giving you bonuses towards Dr. Afra. Um, so uh, we also got Cloud Rider for that purpose. Cloud Rider can trade into a two, uh, some three drops. Cloud Rider can attack in and die. Um, and then goes to the discard pile. Now, we're playing Bazine and Viper Probe Droid because we have a very linear game plan, mm. and we need to know if our opponent has just the stone-cold answer to it right there. So uh, the deck is meant to reanimate stuff, but I've tried to include things in case you have to change your game plan. So both Viper Probe Droid and Bazine... Bazine one can answer the cards that'll just deal with like cards like Fell the Dragon, really bad for. Uh, I wish Bazine know. could hit yourself. Yeah, if Bazine could hit yourself, she'd be nuts. Yeah. Um, Viper Probe Droid lets us look at our hand, trades aggressively. We need Viper. We need cards like Viper Probe Droid in the deck, so that way we don't get run over by the aggro decks. We just need him to kind of see what's going on in the hand. Mm -hmm. Let us answer. Based off, of, like, if we're playing against a Sabine deck, I need to know if I'm getting burned out by For a Cause. I need to know if I need to play around Wrecker. Um, I need to know if I need to play around Poe in ECL. That's the stuff um, that the Viper Probe Droid is giving us information for. Um, we're also playing Super Laser Tech in Resupply, 
um, because if we hit these on three, this lets us deploy Afra a turn earlier. And if we say mill Palpatine's return, if we're slightly unfortunate, Afra gives us a one in three chance on deploy of getting it back. Mm -hmm. um, Afra can also just get, she's just very useful on deploy uh, because she can get back something like a Cloud Rider or say a surprise strike, something you've used to kill an opponent's unit. Afra can get you back more removal. Um, so she can make up, especially if you're ramping, you kind of lose a little bit of card advantage because you have to spend a card to ramp. Um, Afra can make up for that. Afra is basically draw a card, but it's also draw a card from a very limited pool of stuff that's there. Um, we're playing Seven Fleet Defender, and this is the only early space drop. It's possible Mercenary Gunship could be in the deck to answer stuff like A Wings. And red threes but we're playing seven fleet defender um we're also playing frozen and carbonite because it's just a decent answer on three your opponent plays something that you don't really want to deal with anymore you can just frozen and carbonite and get rid of it um we're playing four -lom. we're playing a one of zuckus you can like if four -lom's in play you could palpatine's return zuckus and that will do lots of damage yeah, that's pretty good we got a one of traitorous um we got two overwhelming barrage and so this gives us four or five drops We've got four alum and chain code collector. That gives us four four drops. Now, we're also playing uh, Bounty Hunter's crew. Now, uh, uh, my understanding of the rules, if I Palpatine's return Bounty Hunter crew, Bounty Hunter crew comes into play and can return the Palpatine's return to my hand because part of resolution of an event is putting the event in your discard pile. Mm -hmm. So if we mill a Bounty Hunter's crew, we can Palpatine's return the Bounty Hunter crew attack ambush for four also get back our palpatine's returns pretty good card advantage um and so if our opponent is not playing stuff that is big enough we can continuously palpatine's return bounty hunter crew say against like uh either um uh, control decks that are just trying to run us out of cards or whatever this gives us a recursion loop of sorts um we can bounty hunters crew back the palpatine's return for uh, vader or maul also that is an option um, but uh, that's a neat little interaction there. If we end up milling an important event, the Bounty Hunters crew gives us a, some buyback into that. Their body might not be big enough to make a, uh, much of an impact most of the time, um, but it's there. Um, we obviously, we've, we've got, uh, this is the core of the deck right there, this row, the Palpatine's Return, Vader, and Maul. Um, a little bit of word on Vader. Uh, seven Fleet Defenders in there because this is a good three drop to hit. Um, Vader can also hit Bazine or the Viper Probe Droid, so when we run out Vader, that gives us the ability to see what's going on in the opponent's hand. Um, and so we can do that before we decide what Vader kills. Sometimes there's only one thing for Vader to kill, but sometimes you might have multiple choices, and so um, this gives us a card advantage. We've also got Reinforcement Walker, Relentless, and Devastator. Um, uh, and uh, that's to round out the, the top part of the deck. Now, a card that I have intentionally left out, and if you've been paying attention, um, uh, you're ready to hear about now is Enticing Reward, okay? So Enticing Reward is a card I love, and I think this is like one of the best decks for it. Enticing yeah. Reward says, attach unit gains bounty. Search the top 10 cards of your deck for two non-unit cards. Reveal them and draw them. Then, if this unit isn't unique, discard a card from your hand. So we can play Enticing Reward on a non-unique unit early in the game, kill it, draw two cards. This lets us fish for the Palpatine's return. Part of the reason why we have um, non-unit cards at various parts in the curve is so that we can get, say, a Traitor, or a Rovoling Barrage, or a Surprise Strike, a Resupply, a Frozen Carbonite, um, or the Blaster. We can go get any of those cards, put them in our hand. Um, a lot of those are removal. Uh, and then we can discard a card, which lets us discard Vader or Maul. So, um, that is an additional. We've got mm. Afro's ability, which is a long shot to hit. We've got Greedo's ability, which is also a long shot to hit. But Enticing Reward, if we've got the Dark Jedi in our hand, we get to discard um, as long as we kill a non-unique unit. And if we kill a unique unit, boohoo, we drew two cards. Yeah, that's probably fine. Right? So I think most of the time, the discard... You won't be. You won't have the Maul or Vader sitting in your hand for the discard a lot of the time. Yeah. Right? So, but the question, like, 
if you've got enticing reward and you've got Maul or Vader in your hand, you don't resource them, you keep them because you actually are trying to engineer the scenario where you get to discard them um, and then you can uh, reanimate them. So there you go. That's the breakdown of the deck. Um, and uh, uh, so uh, I'm interested to see how this does. I actually got to do a random test drive with this earlier against somebody who was relatively new to the game. Um, who was like he was building theme decks? He wanted to build like uh, the Book of Boba Fett deck and stuff like that. <laughs> um, and uh, still really new to the game, but uh, it's always good to see. It's good to see that the game could still appeal to people um, at this point. Uh, you know, like well, this is like this is actually probably one of the hardest times to get into a game. Like a few weeks before a set comes out, yeah. because like the game is just so insular at this point that it's just like impossible to tell. Like. You know, uh, the the meta is kind of evolved to a point, and yeah. I'm so, telling you, I think I think Clone Wars set brings a lot of new eyes. Oh yeah, the dude was pumped for the. Clo- yeah. he, he was like, "I'm hoping, I'm hoping Savage and Maul are in the they're set." There, and I was buddy. like, "I got great news they're for you, there. they're in the set. Mm-hmm. There's like two Mauls in the set. You got a leader Maul. You got you got uh, so got Mauls everywhere." All right, now Sabine. I'm not convinced that yeah, this deck has the the I stuff to uh... beat Sabine, um, but uh, uh, and I think it's. I think it's the early, I think it's the space stuff. If I yeah. get lane dodged into space, then um, I think I die to just shit in space. So. If I can get a reinforcement walker out, I think I'm in, I'm in, you I'm like in, ramp to it hard. Yeah, I think, I, I think if I can ramp to it, I'm in good shape. After so. I could also like fight Sabine. Yes, yeah. If, if I, she's if I, buffed. yeah. I found myself leaving Afra undeployed in the first game I played with it to try to mill more cards and because she mm. wasn't coming in, as a 5-5. Five, five. I think if you hit the 5-5... Five, five, then she can come in, yeah. Um, she Before can that, not in. worth. Right, right. She's too easy to kill. Yeah. Right, but if you deploy Afra, um, If you deploy Afra and she's a 5-5 five, five and they have to, like, run somebody big into her, that's fine. Yeah. You know, she drew you a card and then ate an answer. And really, your early stuff in the, in the deck is there to uh, absorb some of the early blows... Um, and to, to not lose control of the ground, that's why we've got so much ambush stuff. Um, the chain code collector is in here because if we've got like a random uh, enticing reward laying around on somebody, the chain code collector can come in, kill somebody for free, and then sticks around. So. All right. I also found myself not using resupply on three, but using resupply uh, on four resources so that I could deploy Afra. I had the ability to deploy Afra um, the same turn and oh, then okay. still have one resource left over. So, because I got back like an enticing reward with Afra, so I could I could bring her out. I got back enticing reward and then I was able to play it on something. So. Okay. Okay. The Excellent. spaceship. All right, I'm going to play Greedo. I'll take Ganesh. Uh, yeah, I'll take Ganesh. Uh, I will enticing reward this X-wing. Okay. Um. It's enticing. Uh, getting the resources. All right, start of the regroup phase. Afra mills the top card. Uh, it is a probe droid. All right, I'll play a wing leader. Okay. Now, I resourced a uh, Frozen and Carbonite, and that would be really good here, because um, I just freeze that in Carbonite and then, you know, worry about it later. Freezes that. Can you, can you freeze non or vehicles? Yeah, Carbonite is non-leader. non-leader. Attached to a non-leader unit. Attached unit can't ready. I'd like the, to complain to the flavor board. Uh, I, I I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, his, how are you going to freeze a little, Alliance X-Wing and Carbonite? His complaint... Oh, technically, you could freeze anything in carbonite you could, if you got enough. But the stuff. chamber was not big. Well, so the, well, the cha- it was actually carbonite. You know what? Carbonite wasn't meant for living organisms. It, it was, was not. meant for all kinds of stuff. No, I'm but that chamber at- is not big enough for an X-wing. Uh, right. Also, you have to bring a the motion, chamber motion. to space to freeze it. Where you? How, so you have like a space ship yeah, size I'm, one that you we're, like we're, shoot at the X-wing. That seems like it's not very economical. We're talking about 
What do you? I mean, you're probably freezing. What normally gets frozen in carbonite? Fuel. Mm, that's you, a good they, question. Well, it, the, so the gas, the ga Vespin gas that they farm or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the gas was yeah. That's right. The Tabana, Tabana gas miners. That's what they were. They were mm -hmm, farming mm -hmm. the Tabana gas. So the great star. <laughs> Look, at thank you. First time chatter, the chainsaw beaver. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. So we Part of Star Wars is arguing about shit that doesn't matter. Yeah, the, the, yeah, right, right. <laughs> thank you, Star. I think this is the most important thing we could do about Star Wars is argue about things that are maybe Tabana gas isn't even what they were mining anymore. It could have been that could have been a Legends thing. Yeah, maybe it's not canon. All right, Viper Probe Droid, give me the hand. Dork Saber. Okay. Um. All right. Attack for five. Or all right. For four. Um, Greedo is going to hit you for three. Um. I'll take initiative. Okay. Um, I am going to pass. Uh, start the regroup phase. I mill one with Afra. It is Maul. We did it. We did it. I'll hit you for four. Okay. The uh, probe droid is going to attack you for three. I'll hit you for two. Um, I'm going to just do a s sneaky, cheeky little pass here. I'll do damage. Uh, I will pass again. All the place to be. Uh, Greedo is going to shoot Sabine with a gun. Because uh, I know the dark saber is lurking in there. It's lurking. Um, and then, uh, do I actually want to mill here? I don't think I do because I don't actually want to shoot my own probe droid if he dies. Oh, you have to do two damage to a ground. Yeah, unit. you. If if it is not a unit, deal two damage to a ground unit. So, I'll play an A wing. Um, I am going to take the initiative. I'll play speed. And I'll pass. All right, start of the regroup phase. I mill a card. It's four lob. Dude, if I think if I resourced correctly this game, I don't think this game would be close. Really? Because okay. this would be frozen in carbonite. Yeah. Um, I resourced four lob the previous turn. Um, so four lob would have attacked into Sabine. Um, and if you dark saber there, uh, that ends up being fine because I can crash the Viper probe droid and Greedo. Actually, I wouldn't have the probe droid, right? You would have the probe droid. You would not have the. You played the uh, blaster for the three. Yeah, last turn. Yeah. So, so I, I could have four lombed into Sabine. I don't, I don't know. I think uh, maybe if I. I think maybe if I, so. The thing is, I just drew Zuckus. Yeah. And so if four lombs stick around and I Zuckus here, I feel I feel pretty good about my chances. Um, if I could learn how to resource with the deck, so. All right. Um, okay. So I am going to have the probe droid attack Sabine. I'm probably just dead to space shit right now. Play Rebel Assault. Oh yeah, that's going to do some damage. That's five and then four, so nine damage. We know the track record of Rebel Assaults. Um, I do have... Um, 2, 7, 1, and 4. So that's 4 things. I'm going to deploy Zuckus. I'm going to heroic sacrifice the wing leader. I'll draw a card. And I'll attack for 4. Sure. Um, I am going to take initiative. I'll do damage. I am done. Okay. Uh, Afra Mills gets a Bazine. Draw two. Uh, I need an overlong barrage, so I'm dead to space. So I figured I needed the Carbonite. Uh, no, I mean, I could. So here's the thing my hand is two Darth Vader's and two Palpatine's returns. Um, I died of space shit. If yeah. I had an overlong barrage, I could clear space, and then um, we'd uh, we'd have something going on. 
Uh, I can, like I said, mercenary gunship. I also consider the the three two st uh, sentinel for space. For three. For three. The uh, the yeah, villainy. that's probably good because Vader can hit it too. Yeah, Vader I, can. I like that. Vader can mill. Uh, yeah, can get into that might be better than the Seventh Fleet Defender in there. I don't know. I didn't really expect it to be a good matchup with Sabine. That'd be tough. Uh, it's the space, right? Got, I got, yeah, I got, yeah, I got, you lane, don't have, you don't I got lane dodge, right? But like I said, no. If I, I'm frozen in carbonite, you play the wing leader. I frozen in carbonite. I have eight less damage on me at that point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, um, that that did like well. It did sixteen damage. I think. Yeah. The plus the rebel assault. Right. So, like that's the that's the thing. So that's why I was playing frozen in carbonite because it's like a de halfway decent space answer. So, um, yeah. I, I, right. I think that's that's part of like just learning the matchup, right? Um, knowing, oh, I no, have don't resource to, that. Yeah. I have to use this. I so I my hand was Vader, Palpatine's return, Greedo, two enticing rewards, and I mean it's possible I should have resourced an enticing reward because I wasn't gonna get enticing reward off on uh, the yeah, X wing. Want, like what what can you even overrolling barrage? Okay, yeah, overrolling barrage gets it right. Um, so yeah, overrolling barrage gets it, uh, and that was kind of like my out for a good chunk of that game. Um, so I'm only playing two, so it's possible you might need three in here. If uh, uh, Afra would have actually, so if I had it on the turn of deploy Afra, I could deploy Afra. I had four in my discard pile. Um, if I overwhelming barrage, overwhelming barrage becomes the fifth, and then uh, she would go to seven power. Does the da does she do the damage if overwhelming barrage being in the discard overwhelming, pile? Overwhelming, overwhelming barrage. So this is static. The while right? there are five or more. Yeah. So um, you, so it does. So the overwhelming more. barrage goes to the discard pile, and so if it mm, was the fifth and it does different cost, then I'd get to kill a bunch of stuff. I right? see. So that is interesting. Yeah. So maybe maybe overwhelming barrage is a three of in the deck. Oh, or, or the traitorous too, right? Like a traitorous. The traitorous would have been really good. But Traders is only a one of, right? I can't. It doesn't really work with the enticing reward. Uh, All right, is this mulligan. hand a mulligan? I actually don't think so. This hand is largely doing a bunch of stuff that I want. Is it you? I don't have any ramp. I think I will mulligan this. This so this hand was uh, bounty hunter crew, Zuckus, overwhelming barrage, four alarm, seven fleet defender, cloud rider. Cloud rider does not match up well into the crafty smuggler. Mm -hmm. um, but I like with this hand, I probably just run the cloud uh, runner into the crafty smuggler just to get rid of the shield at some point. Uh, but I'm going to mulligan. There's no ramp, no enticing reward, no greedo. No, no, uh, no Maul, no Palpatine's Return, no Darth Vader, right? So we get rid of all that and we go, we go fishing elsewhere. Trash. I could interact with the deck early on, but then I'm like trying to draw into the, the reanimator Can stuff. Can I mill him? Yeah, I could mill him, but I don't have like the Palpatine's Return. I do have the, the Bounty Hunter crew so I can get back the, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah, if I run into it, so. I think if I mulligan into that hand, I'm fine with it. Right. I think it was fine. It was, it's definitely not like your ideal hand. No. If you're mulliganing to like try to hit your game plan, then that was not it. Okay. So I think that gets resourced. 12. 3. Yeah, sure. That gets resourced, and then this gets resourced. Grab your smugs. Okay. Uh, I'll run out the probe droid and take a look at your hand. Surprise strike, Toro, Cantina, Bouncer. Sure. I'll take initiative. Pass. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Super Laser Technician. I'll play Bodhi. 
All right, so my hand is double Palpatine's return in Overwhelming Barrage. I'll get the OB. Okay. Oh, I did not mill last turn. I was supposed to mill for after last turn. It was a Zuckus. So Zuckus is there. there. All right. Okay. Um, I will take the initiative. I'll pass. And then uh, Afra's going to mill. Um, it is a reinforcement walker. Hmm. Okay, the uh, super laser technician is going to run into the smuggler, uh, and he becomes a resource. Oh, two for three. Okay. Um, so I think what I do here is I smuggle in Bazine, um, and I take a look at your hand. Cunning Surprise Strike Boba Toro. Okay, so I think I like getting rid of the Cunning here. Um, you'll get the draw card, sure, but um, those three fives, yeah, they're kind of annoying, but I don't think they're going to like necessarily be the death of me. I drew this here for a long, so we're playing it. All right. Killing that bazine. Okay, uh, I am going to deploy Afra. I'll take initiative. Um, oh, you get to do your thing. So uh, I'm going to choose... Overwhelming Barrage, Bazine, and Zuckus. So Zuckus is going to be one and one and two. Overwhelming Barrage is three and four, and Bazine is five or six. Okay. Um, so I get the Overwhelming Barrage back. Wow. Just like that. Rude. So she does not do the milling anymore. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll take initiative. Um, I am going to have Afra. Uh, well, attack your base for two. I have three costs in my discard pile right now. Um, and then I'm going to pass, and we're going to draw two. All right, I will surprise strike for Lom into your base for seven. Okay. We've got three open. Um, I think I just go ahead and. Uh, I'll overwhelming barrage. Um, unfortunately, I don't get the power boost here. Uh, that's one of those where, like, I wish I could have uh, milled for an extra turn. Yeah. Um, we'll kill uh, Bodhi. Um, so blast Bodhi away. You want to do one damage to four long? Um. Yeah, may as well. We'll dump one damage to the four long. I'll deploy Boba. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have Afra. let's have Afra take out Forlom. Um, she'll be danger close there. Uh, I will fight Afra. Okay, so you will take four. Yeah, already two. Uh, I have not had a unit leave play this That's turn. That's a unit leaving play, right? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're the right. You're really yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. Um, all right, Afra's answered. Okay, I'll take initiative. Play Toro. Uh, I'll play Greedo. I will not trigger Toro to kill Greedo. Okay. 
because I don't think that's worth it, and I'm done. All right, so start regroup phase. After the mills a card, she mills four lob, um, and then I'm gonna draw two. Uh, we'll resource this. All right, so I am going to Vader. Let's go get our um I actually think I want a bazine here. Um so let me just take a look at the hand. Uh Zuckus and Boba Fett. Let's uh discard Zuckus. He's gone. And then uh, Vader is going to kill the fat man. Okay. Plays the ripped fire spray. I tell you, I wish. I tell you, three. Um, it was not a fire spray. I will take initiative here. Thank you for three. Play Boba Fett. I will do a damage to Boba Fett for Toro. And I'll attack you for three. And I'll play a Scrappy Smuggler. That was the draw. And I'm done. Okay. Uh, Afra mills a card. It's a Cloud Rider. Draw two. Hmm. Is this guy good enough now? There's a, there's a world where that guy does become useful. I was just reminded, did you see the official Twin Suns mat that they were showing off? It's like oh, it's like four player play mat. Oh, that's four cool. Twin Suns, it's got that's like cool. two leader spots and that's zones for everything. It's really nice. Um, it's really big. It's probably like two of these stapled together. Alright, so I'm going to have Vader fight Toro. Okay. He represents uh, quite a bit of damage there. It's Vader's toast. I'll hit you three. Okay. Um, I am going to Vader again. Okay. Um, we're going to... Five... Ten... Um, okay, we'll get a 7th Fleet Defender, and then Vader is going to kill Fett. I'll take three. I'll give Crafty Smuggler Boba Fett's armor. So I could have I could have thrown that on Boba Fett in my first action, but I kind of wanted to take the damage oh, there. So yeah. if I did put that on Boba Fett first action, Vader would have to like kill Greedo. Yeah. So that's something. Um, Bazine is going to kill Greedo. I will take a shot. Bang. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do think that set three does look superior to set two, but I don't think that's like a knock on set two at all. I think set three just looks really cool. I'm gonna blaster. Okay. So I take. Six. Um, I'll take initiative. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll pass. Uh, Millicar with Afra. Relentless. Uh, I die because I can't kill this guy cleanly because mm. of the shield. Die because I can't kill that guy because of the shield. I don't have anything down here, right? I would have slowed down to kill that guy, right? Like, I don't I don't have anything on the board. I would need, like, a... Seven, or I need, basically, fire uh, spray to... Yeah, so I could, um... Point. Yeah, I could Palpatine's return this Relentless. I also have Devastator, which is the next turn. Mm -hmm. Um, the... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's... I... I I bazined and then you drew into Forlom and yeah. that like like so the thing was is like yeah, your your bad. your synergy play like I'm sorry you're um um I got rid of cunning I mean am I worse off with cunning so probably I don't know I didn't have a great like use for cunning 
in the next few turns. Yeah, is the thing. Well, I'm not gonna let you keep it, right? Yeah, because you can you discard. You can cutting. tap my guys. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just can't let you keep cutting. I think right? you're probably right to discard it, but I uh, like that turn. It was not great. Yeah, um, right, right, right. Because you discarded Zuckus. No, you discarded. I discarded cunning. Cunning, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I had Toro and Boba in yeah. hand. Yeah, and so I'm fine with those guys because they don't do anything, right? Yeah. They come into play ready or whatever. Um, Toro did get a lot of damage in. I was worried about you discarding Toro, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's possible Toro was the call, um, but you still draw into the four alarm, right? Right. So. Boba crafty Greedo turn. Save the Bazine till then. So I um I I would have loved to have done anything more proactive than Bazine there with Smuggle, right? Yeah. Uh but uh, uh I was hoping to get Afra to five power so that the Overland Barrage would be good enough. And I was gonna have to like pull back the OB. I needed to interact with the board in some way. Um like that was just that had to happen there. It's critic time. All right. I do actually like this matchup. I might be wrong, but I think I like this matchup. Okay. We'll see if I eat, I'll probably. see if I eat those words. But, yeah. Well, that I mean, if I was playing against Krennic that game, first off, you don't touch the hand. Second, um, I had relentless devastator, more Vaders than could be counted, <laughs> um, because my hand also still had the two Palpatines return. So like Infinite once I'm done yeah. pl playing the Vaders, right? Like I can Palpatines return the um, the Relentless, and then the Krennic deck does not like seeing Relentless. So. Bouncing Bazines. Do you have uh, McClunky? No, I don't have McClunky. Feels like Afra's trying to keep up. Wasn't going ahead. McClunky might be fine. I don't know that I have enough um, underworld stuff. Yeah, you yeah. might have to change the list a little bit if you wanted to play McClunky. Yeah. I do really think you should put the space sentinel in there. I liked the sound of that. Because I think you, if you're playing all that many Vaders, you might run out of good Vader targets really fast. Hitting Bazine is really good, though. Yeah, Bazine's so strong. Yeah. Especially when you get to look at their hand and discard and then make the Vader attack. Yeah. That's pretty important. Yeah. Something like that. I think that's the. Okay. I can also save Afra for when I'm ready to. Like, maybe there's a scenario where I get milled because Afra is like churning through my deck the whole time. But I can also save Afra to get back something really important, right? Like, if I force you to deal with malls and Vaders. And then Afra pulls, and Afra's like decide like you you deal with relentless, and then it's I'm like, like it's like Palpatine's return of relentless plus Vader or something. Yeah, like right, yeah. right, or you know Devastator or whatever. It's like it literally, be. no matter what you get back is good. Yeah, um, and and it's Underworld. The three cost they sent all is Underworld. Yeah, um, ten, eighteen. 18. You got initiative. I'll take initiative. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll pass. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Great. Afro mills a card, it is enticing reward. I don't know if we ever had that happen. <laughs> it's not really common, right? Mm -hmm. It's probably common when you're playing two control e decks against Yeah, player. I think so. Um, that's, that's fair. I guess I'll put that down. Um, I will resupply. I'll take initiative. Uh, I'll pass Afra Mills, uh, reinforcement walker. Have to get rid of you? Yeah, perhaps. I'll resupply. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put an enticing reward on the super laser tech. I'll hit you for you. Uh, I'll play a 7th fleet defender. I'll take an ish. Um, I... Do I want... I don't think so. I think I need some stuff to actually get milled with Afra. So I'll uh, pass. Afra's going to mill. 
That's another reinforcement walker. Um, draw two. Resource one. Is it you? I think it actually might be you. Oh, power of the dark side. Okay. Three open. Deploy Afra. Um, four cards in hand. Mm -hmm. Um, sure. I'll deploy Afra. Um, so enticing reward, reinforcement walker, seven fleet defender. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so the Seventh Fleet Defender is back. I'll hit you for two. Um, I am going to have Afra attack the Super Laser Tech. Um, so you'll get that ready. Um, I am going to search the top ten for two, five, ten, two. Um, all right, there were exactly two in that, so we'll get Hotshot Blaster and Frozen and Carbonite. And I was worried you might be like slightly low on non unit cards in there, like that might miss. Uh, I think it's like 40, 40. I think it's like 40% or whatever, right? Okay. Yeah, that's um, not amazing. It's 10 cards, but also, uh, the, the discard is like almost as important. Yeah, so I'm is, gonna discard is. Maul. Okay. I'll play a Super Laser Tech. Um, I'm going to... You could SLB me, right? Uh, I don't know, this is a lot of damage. I'll uh, Palpatine's Return Maul through the Super Laser Tech. Um, so you'll take uh, six. I'll take initiative. Okay, I'll pass. I'll play Evader. Okay. My time for Vaders. Um, let's get. Death Trooper and shoot Maul for two. Okay. And Vader can fight Afra. Sure. She's only two power right now? That's correct, yeah. I have uh, one, eight, and six. So it's just two power. Uh, I'm going to Overwhelming Barrage Maul, um, and uh, we'll clean up. That's all this stuff. Oh, yeah. I will take initiative. Uh, I'm going to deploy Greedo, and then Maul is going to crack in for nine. Um, and then I will... Pass uh, Afra Mills uh, probe droid, and then a draw two. All vigilance defeat Maul gain five. Okay. Uh, feels like a decent time to Bazine. Avenger, Vigilance, Pershing. Let's uh, get rid of the Avenger. How about that? I'll deploy Krennic. Um, I'll have Greedo... 
I'll have Greedo attack your base for three. I will fight Greedo. Okay, I will take the shot. Um, Greedo will do two damage to Krennic. Play Pershing. Uh, I'm going to four lom Krennic. Take initiative. Okay. Oh, I did not replace the Bazine. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Dr. Afra is going to mill as a Greedo. And then I draw two. And resource one. I suppose it's that. Uh, it cost me six. I yeah, six. He, he paid six. You had ten. I mean, he got like t he got like three ramps off this game yeah. or something like that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you drew ramp instead of like action, right? Like it, it feels like you've been woefully short on action. So uh, I will vigilance, defeat, and heal. Okay, paying six. No, you're good. It's easy. It's easy to miss on stream. Re resources are especially not that easy to see on stream because we're stacking them weirdly. All right, I am going to play a Seventh Fleet Defender. Uh, ping and draw. Um, you've drawn your last okay. Pershing. Fine. I will take down the Defender. Okay. See, this I can get behind. This guy's easily frozen in carbonite. <laughs> he can probably just walk in there if you ask him to. <laughs> okay. Uh, Afra, I will take initiative. Okay. Um, Afra Mills, the oh, Cloud Rider. I draw to you. One of the resupply replaced. Wouldn't the resupply replaced the Bazine? The uh, it's all random. It's all if, if it's a card from the top of the deck, it's a random oh, yeah, card yeah, every yeah. time. It's a random card every time. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. But yeah. Uh, it's, your, your, it's a fair it's a fair question but it doesn't matter yeah um, when we miss like if we miss of, if, the, of discards on yeah. top of the deck we just take the next card because it's easier than trying to like roll everything back yeah. based on the next yeah. card right it's all random yeah we don't know it's not like it, I didn't play like brainstorm right like I don't know what's on top of the deck um, Thrawn isn't in the game so anything like that we don't really worry about rolling back especially if we're just like playing for the stream purposes um New Yo yeah, the New, new Yo awesome. does look pretty cool. Yeah. I do agree with that. I don't actually know what the resource here, but there's like, like a lot of heroes in the new set that uh, look really fun and really cool to build around. Is it this? It's I guess it's that. Very exciting. exciting. All right, so I've got the initiative. Let's um, uh, we'll just play Evader. Um, and we'll go see what's up here. Five, ten, um. Excellent. Uh, Bazine. I'll choose this Bazine to stick around. Um, Vader. Power of the Dark Side. Fell the Dragon. Let's get your Vader. No ambush. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a reason to kill the Pershing, right? Like, you can... Inferno 4. Bottom top. Uh, Bazine. Um. I'll give Bazine somewhere. This gun. Okay. So Bazine's going to attack you for three. All right. Um, and then I'll replace the top card. I'll fell the dragon Vader. Yeah. I will take initiative. I'll power of the dark side. Okay. All right. I'm sick of looking at her. Okay. I'll pass. Um, Afra mills. Oh, she milled a Vader. Um, and then I'll draw. Should have been milling you with vigilance. Yeah. 
Let's uh Viper Probe Droid. Mm hmm Okay. Walker okay. intervention hask. Okay. Um let's see. I am gonna timely intervention this here walker. Okay. Place that card. Play the walker for eight. Man, timely intervention deserves to be in this deck, I think. In that deck? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so I'll look at the top card of my deck. I will draw that card. I will ambush the probe droid. I'll look at the top card of my deck. I will draw that card. Uh, I'm going to bounty hunter crew. And um, we're going to get back uh, Palpatine's return. Um, ambush or nah? I think the answer is nah. Hmm. Um, I will take initiative. Okay. Uh, I am going to pass. So Afra's going to mill me for one. Uh, mill them all. Uh, and then I'll draw. Okay. I'll go ahead and get in for seven to your base. And look at the top card, and I will discard it from a four to heal three. Um, I'm going to play Relentless. I'm going to play Avenger. All right. I'll sack the Bounty Hunter crew. Uh, I will take initiative. I'll hit you for two. And pass. Okay. Oh, Afra Mills Zuckus. Draw two. This is like, might need a restock. I guess it, <laughs> I think restock is like a cyborg Cyborg, card. yeah, yeah. It's um, definitely not good in all the matches. You don't want to see that shit against the bean at all. In game one. Okay. Um, let's uh, devastate the Avenger. I'll attack you for seven. Uh, I'll hit you for eight. I'll keep. Uh, okay. Play Power of the Dark Side the Fizzles. Okay. Um, I will play um, I will take initiative. Play Gideon Play Fell the Dragon. Non relentless? Yeah. Get an XP token. Attack you for three. This is some. Ah. Uh, I will slam into that for three. Sure. I'll look at the top two. Top, bottom. Pass. Mill. Oh yeah, Afro Mills. A Bazine. Palpatine's return. Um mm. 
<laughs> I'm ready to sweat. I got another tattoo today, so I didn't want to rub shirt on it. Uh, I think it's Maul, and I'll have Maul kill Gideon um, and the trample U for two. A dot, I, no, yeah, okay. I can attack with a walker. I'll tag you with it for seven. Okay. And look at the top card and discard that. Deal three. Uh, if I had the surprise strike in my discard pile, I could bounty hunter crew for the surprise strike, mm. but I don't. Mm. Um. So, I think I have to take initiative, otherwise I uh, lose to the walker. So I'll take initiative. I'll play timely intervention that fizzles. You, that, that, that's gone. What? The, the, you got rid of the relentless. Oh, I don't have to do that. I hadn't lost it anyway, so I won't do that. I will... Uh, Play is everyone garage? Okay, for eight nine damage. Um, I count one. Seven, uh, yeah, eight, uh, yeah. All, dead. all right, and the dark trooper and pass. Uh, Afro Mills, Cloud Rider, draw, draw. Did I surprise? Did I you resource it? Did I turn it into? Yeah, I you think did. I. Um, I think I hit it on one of the smuggles. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I hit it on one of the smuggles. I was wondering where it was. I needed the other overwhelming barrage. I think overwhelming barrage is a three of in this deck. Yeah. I think this. I think overwhelming barrage is a three of. That was deck. pretty close though. That was a good game. That yeah. was a good game. I, there were close. multiple times where if I have the card, you're dead. Right. Yeah, for so. sure. But yeah, Walker did all the damage. It sure did. Yeah. Um. Uh, the the walker was a problem, but I didn't have a clean answer to it then, right? I it was another as another one. I, I I honestly believe, I legitimately believe in all of my heart, that frozen carbonite is never a resource in this deck. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the uh, because I have a I, premium. I frozen carbonite. The dude I had another frozen carbonite in my hand. And then you played the walker, and the walker won you the game because the walker gave you so many cards and also life. Right? Like I lost the game to the walker. So you didn't have you didn't have another frozen. Carbonite? I had the other frozen carbonite, but I resourced it before the walker came down. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm telling you. I, I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm, I'm figuring out how the I'm deck works. I'm typing right now in the YouTube comments. Get better, Nathan. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm figuring out how the deck works. I don't think I would ever, ever resource frozen and carbonite wow. going forward. From this point forward, never, not Especially once. Like a ton. Yeah, get, it get makes sense against him. Get good. It makes sense against him. Finally, people can talk shit about you in the comments instead of me. They were talking shit about my Carabas takes. <laughs> yeah, well, I I didn't say if you play Carabas, you're garbage, right? <laughs> no, I don't no. I don't think I said that. I don't I don't think I said it is a waste of time to play on Carabas. I don't think I said that. Uh, I don't think I said making playing a Carabas makes you a worse player. I don't, I don't think I said that. I don't think I said people who spend time developing and improving Carabas are a drain on society. I didn't say that. You're um, saying it all right now. Those are things I do not believe, for the <laughs> record. Um, I said, I don't care about Carabas. I believe. Fuck, wow. That's, That's what it. I said. That's Carabas is not for me, is what I said. I do not care about web-based browsers or web based clients for card games. I believe those were my statements. This nerd only wants to play card games in real life. Like some kind yes. of loser. Yeah. Yeah. Um I believe that's what I said. Not anything so the thing is is about like all those fan made browser sites. I cannot fathom the number of hours that go into maintaining those. It is a lot. Especially the Crucible for um, Keyforge like certainly kept the game alive and existing through the pandemic. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I played I like I barely played on the TCO um, for Keyforge, if I played Netrunner, I wouldn't be playing Genteki. Yeah, right. Like, I, there's all there's all that stuff. I just I don't like those. Those aren't for me. I do not like them. 
Um, if you use them and you can improve it at the, at the game and stuff like that, it's great. That's great to hear. Yeah, they care about screen. Um, that's awesome. So it's just for me that that's, that doesn't do the trick. I don't care. Okay. Hmm. Initiative? Yeah. Eight. A nine. I want initiative. Probe droid, look at your hand. Sabine, K2, R2, or Luke. Okay. Play Sabine. Uh, I'll take initiative. I'll Han this R2 in. Sure. There might be an argument to Han the Sabine and then play the R2. Yeah. I figure you kill the Sabine either way, so that like makes sense because the Sabine then R2 yeah. doesn't have damage on it. Yeah, it's it's like a small thing, right? I'm gonna bottom this. Okay. Uh, Afro mills a card. It is Cloud Rider. Uh, I'm gonna have the probe droid kill Sabine. I'll attack you for one. Sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna play Greedo. On K2. I'll take initiative. Pass. Uh, Afro mills a card. It is Surprise Strike. Pillage is not good against you. It's not ideal, it's right? It's not ideal. If you can get the whole hand, it's probably fine. But, yeah. Uh, Greedo is going to attack K2 and then take the shot. Bang! So here, if I had Pillage, which I don't, I would like discard a card from your hand and then play Pillage. That'd yeah. be really nice. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Blast uh, R2. Uh, I will do the three damage, though, I think. Sure. Because giving you one discard is not good, for sure. Um, pass. This is your cl the classic, yeah, the classic mid game Han clunk. Uh, I'll play four long. I'll take it down. He's dead. Um, pass. You mean uh, take it? Take it. Take it. Okay. I'll pass. All right. Uh, mill. Uh, probe droid. Draw. Gotta be you. All right, I got twos, ones, and fours. So Afra is not online. Um, I am going to deploy Afra, however, so that I have something to do proactively on this turn. I'm going to choose Forlom, Surprise Strike, and Cloud Rider. Um, so uh, Cloud Rider is one two. Uh, Surprise Strike is three four. Forlom is five six. Um, so Forlom is back. something you don't want to deploy into Forlom? Uh, I'll take initiative. <laughs> um, I will play, I'll pay four and I'll play Forlom. And then uh, Afra's going to attack you for two. And then I'll pass. On mace. Attack Afra. Uh, you know it takes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Goes on, yeah. yeah.
Hit you for four. Maze kills four long. Attack you for four. I'll attack you for five. Fool. <laughs> um, smuggle in Bazine. Kanan, Luke, Sabine? Get out of here, Luke. Okay. Get out of here. Beat it, kid. All right. Why, why aren't you go to Tashi Station? Okay. I'll take initiative. Uh, I'll play a probe droid. I got Drew Cassian. Drew Cassian. Excellent, excellent. All right. Um, and uh, I'm going to pass. He's on play redemption. I will heal all this and uh, I'll heal two off my base too. Sure. Uh, we'll have Maul kill Mace Windu, just like in the movie. Uh, actually, I can I can redirect. We'll re redirect all that to Bazine. Get out of here, Bazine. I think a healthy Maul is better than a three health Bazine. I will play on. Uh, probe droid is going to attack you for three. All right, I'll attack the probe droid. Uh, Forlom is going to. Do I like the four damage and giving you initiative? I think I want the initiative. I'm going to take the initiative. Okay, uh, Afra Mills Agrido. Draw two. Incredible, beautiful, magnificent. No notes. Magnifique. Um. No, Nafra's toast. It's um. It's overwhelming barrage mall. Uh, the obliterate all of that. Sabine. <laughs> uh, we'll obliterate Sabine, um, and then I'll redirect the damage to Foral on there. I take six. Uh, not yes, yeah, so it takes six. Okay, I'll play King. Um, now take initiative. Pass. Uh, uh, Afra Mills, a seven fleet defender. <laughs> My hand is funny. I'm not laughing. My hand is really funny. Um, we'll have Maul fight Kanan, uh, pu punch through him for two. Um, I won't redirect the damage to Maul. Uh, I'll play a Crate Dragon. Uh oh. <laughs> um,. Overwhelmed, huh? It's big. 
All right. You when an opponent plays a card, you may deal damage equal to that card to the base or ground unit they control. Or I think ground the card unit. resolves first, but that ability happens after the card resolves. Okay. When your opponent plays a card, so like if you Vader and you play those things for free, then the Great Dragon gets to. That's pretty bad. It huh? does a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll have uh, Forlom fight the Crate Dragon. I'll take initiative. I'm going to play a Maul and fight the Crate Dragon and trample for one. I'll choose that Maul to stay around. And then I guess I'll take seven. Yep. Um, and then I will pass. Okay. Uh, Afra mills a card. It's a Palpatine's return. Uh, I'm going to draw two. Play Cray Dragon. No, oh my god. I'm gonna lose this game to Cray Dragons. I'm gonna go 0 for thanks to Cray Dragons. Pal per turn on a Cray Dragon. Six damage for Pal per turn and the cost of the card you yeah. get back. Yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty bad. I have another ball. I, <laughs> I actually wonder if it was correct for me to try to push damage earlier. I was mm -hmm. just like trying to keep the board clear, yeah. right? But um, you could have probably gotten ahead enough in the race, I bet. Uh, yeah, I, I lose this crate drive. So uh, here's yeah. my hand. My hand is Vader, Maul, <laughs> Palpatine's Return, Overland Barrage, but, uh, Bounty Hunter Crew, but I died at Crate Dragon. Yeah. All right, well, I, we learned quite a bit about this deck, I think. I would, dra I would definitely change a little bit of stuff about it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think the deck's not far. No, like once you get some numbers tuned, you get probably some better removal yeah. and some like ways to deal with space and aggro and crate dragon. Uh, yeah. Ideally, then I think it, it would function a lot better with just a few changes. Yeah. So the core of the deck's well. I like Afra a lot actually. I think she's going to be a solid leader. I think she gets better as the game goes. Yeah, on, she right? always she certainly does. She certainly. There, does. There's all there's always going to be some sort of graveyard strategy, and being able to mill yourself is always going to be good for that, right? Yeah. So. Um, I mean, the deck functioned more or less the way I wanted it to, right? It's just like uh, that game was back to back crate dragons. I think there's only two in that deck, right? Uh, there's three. Three in the Han deck? I believe so. Because it's like a major part of the strategy. One. One. Two. Yeah, it's two. Okay. Just All kidding. Right. Just, yeah. Moves by far Stop. the best after version. Yeah, for sure. We're ne not necessarily trying to make the best decks over yeah, here. Yeah, we're right, making right. some fun stuff. Yeah, I wanted to try this reanimator strategy. And uh, I mean, I died right before I was reanimating in the Sabine matchup. And honestly, if I had prepared for space, I think it would have been um, better off. It's, uh, it's possible. It's possible you cut stuff like the devastator you probably still play reinforcement walker just because i think it's good yeah, in the aggro great, matchup yeah. and getting it back with the palp great too um and uh you might there's like some of the some of the like forlom was enough i never actually set up chain code collector and i drew him multiple times never played him so that kind of like tells you something right there yeah, yeah. i felt like bazine was really good because i think bazine kept me in games that i probably would have lost a bazine long time was great. was enticing reward Worth it, do you think, or do you find yourself resourcing that a lot too? Um, there were I actually didn't want to enticing reward the unique people most of the time. Yeah, but, but like people are mostly playing unique units right now. Yeah, that might be better when there's more like tokens and shit. Yeah, I think around. it. I think enticing reward was fine. Um, because in the was it the FET game? No, it was the uh, Critic game. Yeah, it it set up everything. Mm -hmm. It set up everything. That was quite. It was pretty um, good. That was pretty good there. So. Uh, like being able to slap an enticing reward on a uh, super laser tech seems pretty good, right? So yeah. So um, we will be back Sunday, next Monday with Star Wars, and Sunday for more sorcery. Yeah, we're gonna be drafting some sorcery again. I'm, I'm so excited. excited. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for that. So those look how beautiful the damn boxes, dude. Yeah, it's so sick. honestly the set. This set of sorcery is a lot. Uh, there's way more cards in it than I expected. 
I thought the set was going to be much smaller. And but it's designed way better for like draft. Everything seems yes. pretty balanced. Yeah, um, I, yeah, it's exciting. I, I'm a big fan of this. Yeah, set I so like I I had minor complaints about sorcery the first time around, and this set fixed a lot of that stuff. Yeah, the, uh, as far as limited play is concerned, and so. so beautiful. Yeah, it's insane looking. So damn gorgeous. Apparently, yeah. the Holy Grail is not a card in the set. About Arthurian legends. Or maybe it is. No, and no one's found it's it. a. There's a. Um, uh, there's a curio for it. Yeah, there's. There's. I think like so. two of the curios I, for it have been. Found. I pulled a curio. Yeah, it's which our is Discord. Sick. And it looks really good. It, it, looks, it looks sick. So sick. Lancelot. Uh, uh, no, I got Percival. 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 I got Percival. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, we'll be back with Sunday for more sorcery and then more Star Wars. I don't know what deck I'm going to do Sun or Monday, but uh, if anyone has some interesting grooves they got, throw them in the Discord. I'll check them out. I, don't uh, know I knew I do because I got my Mando. My Mando was like a little checkbox. I wanted to play a Mando deck. Um, we got the Afra. Who who we missed? There's a lot of decks. I mean, we still we haven't. We, we've been playing set, set one two. Leaders, we've been playing set two. Right. We could. I maybe like somebody asked about Luke. Um, somebody did ask about Luke in uh, previous video. Maybe Luke Red or something like that. Something wacky. We'll see. Hera. I don't know about Hera. Mm, yeah. Maybe Hera next set. Hera right? gets some specters. In Hera does get one some specter in the next set. Right? Yeah. So maybe Hera next set. But you know I'm a Hera lover. this weekend in the UK. Hopefully someone cooks something crazy. Yeah. In that deck. Easy. That easy contest. Easy. You'd love to see it. We got a PQ uh, 10 days from now. I believe that we can't sign up for because we were too late. Uh, they were getting people off the wait list. Okay. Um, so it might be worth it. Might be worth I, checking in. Yeah, I don't know if I got the wait list or not. Um, but yeah, a lot of people from what I from what I've heard, a lot of people have come off the wait list. So. Okay. All right. Thanks yeah. for watching, y'all, and we will see you on Sunday. All right. Goodbye. Bye. -bye.